Russell wasn't all that long ago that he beat Alexander Volkov in round 9 of 10 and earned a title shot against you in New York City. Derek Lewis back on the grind here tonight. Derek Lewis is a beast and one of the strongest guys that I have ever felt inside of the octagon. Every time his punches land, you can feel this unbelievable thud up against your head in the body. And everything he does, it is just absolute power. He's a very, very good athlete, as he shows with these double kicks that he always likes to throw up. Derek Lewis, when you win nine out of ten fights, you're a monster. And he is on paper one of the most prolific knockout artists this division historically has ever seen. The Black Beast, ready to get back to it here tonight. making the UFC walk yet again, and you can be sure Kimbo's on the fight card, the masses are tuned in. Everybody's tuned in. There are fight parties all around the country. Yes. Kimbo's fighting. He just has that ability to get people together to compete. He's one of those guys that, regardless of wins and losses, you still want to see us go. But trust me, Kimbo lands the right hand. Yes. Most times he is getting his hand raised. A phenomenal, phenomenal boxer, has professional boxing experience, and also just a draw in every sense of the world. Good to see Kimbo Slice ready to go here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 35 years old. Lewis weighed in at 260 pounds. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. A boxer for only a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Derek the Black Beast. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of five wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Kimbo Slice! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Ben Bergliotta. Dan Mergliotta, your referee. You ready? Oh. All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, we get to watch it inside of an octagon. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Tags it with the upper.
Straight right hand, no good. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Effective punch there by Kimbo Schlice. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Blades switch to And they set it. So it's a little tie now. Got flip with the right hand. Looking to land the right just out of range. Slice and strike attempt there is blocked. Ooh, big knee. Oh! So Lewis's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He's got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, huge block! That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. away from landing one of those big right hands. Trying to hammer that big leg. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Kim Boschlitz. Most 
stiff on all these shots and getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Big shots being landed on both sides here. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Nice punch by Slice. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body. Oh! but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Uh, the triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submission, and if he's not careful here, he's gonna get stuck, and he will have to submit. Slice as tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. And they separate. All right, so 74 total strikes. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 40 seconds of round number 3. Playing the winner knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, also, most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. 